Hi, the community. Dr. Cobb back with you. We're back in our office doing some exercises to improve our function. Um, and what we're going to do today is something a little bit unique. It's a, you can think of it as a hand-eye coordination drill. Really, from our perspective, it's a cerebellar drill. Cerebellum is a little brain that sits at the bottom of the big brain. It controls a lot of different things. It controls smoothness of movement, but also movement accuracy. It's one of those big things that we talk about. So anytime you see a great golfer, a great tennis player, someone that makes an amazing catch in football, we look at that and go, ah, that was awesome, and he's probably got a good cerebellum. So what we're going to do today is a little test, a little exercise, uh, just to work on both sides of your brain. Uh, and to do this, we're going to use some very expensive equipment uh, called post-it notes and a door. All right, so if you can see my little setup over here, I've got some post-it notes put up uh, in a square pattern, or actually more rectangular, and then I have a center fixation uh, uh, post-it note. And you can see that I very, very carefully scribbled in some circles, all right? So I have some targets to hit. So here's basically the exercise. Here's how it's gonna work. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna test something on ourselves. We're gonna look at a range of motion. So uh, I like to test my shoulders, uh, internal rotation. So if I stand here, I take my arm down as far as it can go, take it back as far as it can go. I get an idea of how tight that is. Check that on both sides. So if I do this drill and my brain likes it, that range of motion hopefully will improve. It'll you know, I'll go further or it will feel better. So right now on this right side, because I've been doing some pretty heavy training, the range of motion's not perfect, it's pretty good, but it feels tight when I get into this position here. So I'm gonna see if doing some brain training will actually improve my shoulder. So you can test your shoulders, you can go in these different directions, whatever feels comfortable to you. You can test a forward bend or rotations. So do that first, all right? Then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do the exercise. For this exercise, it is called finger nose, and in this case, dot, all right? Finger nose dot. Uh, and we're gonna do it by covering one eye. So I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna cover my right eye. And what's gonna happen is I'll be turned facing the door. My left eye has to look at the dot right here in the center the whole time, okay? So basically, I'm gonna be, my, I'm gonna be covered I have finger nose, so I'm looking at the dot, I'm going to make the camera the dot, and I'm going to go finger, nose, dot, nose, dot, nose, dot. The entire time I have to be looking at the, my fixation point, okay? A lot of people when they first start doing this, they go finger, nose, or to my nose, and then dot, and they look away. And we don't want that because that's not going to create this like, level of brain training that we're interested in, okay? So I'm going to be here. I get nice and tall, cover my right eye, I'm focusing right here, I'm going to reach up, touch my nose, touch the point, nose, point, nose, point, nose, point. That's all there is to it. I want you to do maybe 10 or 15 times, and then you're simply going to retest. Ah, much better for me, okay? Now what oftentimes happens is, because uh, normally when I'm moving the left hand, I'm working on the right side of my brain. Um, so sometimes what will happen is you now do the opposite. So I, th in that case, I covered my right eye. This time I'm going to cover my left eye. So I cover my left eye. I'm focusing on the dot here. Touch my nose. Dot. Nose. Dot. Nose. Dot. Nose. Dot. Nose. Dot. And then I retest. Okay, also very good for me. It's possible that you may figure out that one side or the other you really struggle with. <laughs> Uh, and if you do find that, maybe if you have a Z trainer and you talk to them, if, you're, if you find that you're going, uh, I'm touching my nose, but I'm missing it, and now I'm reaching up and I'm missing the paper all the time, maybe worth consulting with someone around, because this, this shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, so like I said, go ahead and try the exercise. Hopefully it makes an improvement in your body, number one, but also you may learn something that maybe your brain's been missing some information for some time, and that may explain some of the issues that you have. So again, very simple finger nose dot exercise, 10 to 15 repetitions. If you respond really well to it, do it several times a day. And what you may figure out is it really diminishes the amount of stress that you're carrying uh, in your body from constant computer use and, and other things that stress out your, not only your eyes, but also your brain. Uh, so give this a shot. If you have any questions about it, please let us know. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.